Thank you. And I'm here at Indie Dance with my movie, Dark Web. Yeah, we're getting ready to do um, our third film in the series with our private detective uh, character from Dark Web. We had a previous film, The Traffickers, and then Dark Web, and then we're doing The Exporters, uh, which is the third film, and it follows in a timeline. It's like a months apart. The, the one thing that I did notice, and I actually did a little bit of research going to your bio page on Film Freeway, is that your cast really seemed connected. And that led me to believe that you guys had all worked together before in an acting company or been on other projects together. So yeah, I was not at all surprised to see that you had all worked together in The Traffickers because it was really obvious in uh, Dark Web. Uh, many of us have worked for well over 30 years. We started together in theater at college and we've done a lot of um, productions away from college, small films. Uh, plus, we've just been friends for you know over thirty years. So yeah, we it's it's been a real nice experience working with people that you know in and out so well. No, oh, that's really cool to build that that trust among among artists that you know you continue to work together. It's actually the dream, you know, the dream is to yeah. bring and, along and the people. Me. Yeah, absolutely. They, they trust me because I've worked with them on stage as well as in other films as a director, so they know what to expect from me and what I expect from them. And, and it's really been a great collaboration over the years. That's outstanding. And, and again, it's really obvious as a viewer of the film. Um, yeah, it had great pacing and great timing and the actors were very relatable. The character is really related well together. So uh, that definitely shows in the final product. So congratulations on that. No, thank you. So would you classify the film as a film noir or would you classify it as a crime uh, novel? What, where would you categorize it in the genre field? I, I would kind of look at the idea of a neo-noir because um, it is contemporary, but once we established the storyline and we got the script down to where we wanted it, we just looked at it and decided this needs to be black and white if, if we could we would have done it as a 1940s period film. Right. But since we weren't prepared to do it that way, we felt it still needed to be black and white. And we shot it black and white. We didn't go color and then desaturate. We okay. shot it black and white. This is the way we're going. No going back. And that, uh, so far, we've had great response to it. That's awesome. And was Traffickers also shot in black and white? Or did you make that decision yeah. only with uh, Dark Web? Um, only with dark web, we did shoot it in color, but I'm in the process of expanding the, uh, the film and turning it into a black and white, kind of following um, some of the films um, that have been done in the recent past, where they've done that, where the director's gone back in, made it uh, into a black and white, and I just love the look of it. And uh, like uh, the, the Wolverine movie, was, it was the big influence, it's like, wow, this looks incredible. And so we're, we're doing that with traffickers, even though when we do release them all together, mm -hmm. we'll do color and black and white because the black and white will be a little bit longer. We've added back some scenes to it. So it's more of a director's cut, but black and white. Great, great. I look forward to seeing that. So clearly you guys have worked together a long time. You've got a really good comfort level. You've already planned that it's going to be a crime trilogy. Um, without spoilers, what can we expect in the third film that you're willing to share with the viewers without spoilers? Well, the third film will dive into the area of uh, biological warfare agents. And we're gonna be going on location, we're scouting locations now for um, lighthouses. Uh, a good part of the film will take place uh, in and around a lighthouse. So even though we'll build interiors for the lighthouse, we wanna try to find an actual practical uh, exterior hmm. that we can use. So we're starting our uh, look around up and down the coast um, to see what we can find. Terrific, terrific. I would like to share with you the award that you and your team have won. The uh, Dark Web has won the Best Narrative Feature Bronze Award. Congratulations to you and oh, to wow. your team on the film. 
Uh, it was uh, oh, it it was fun. Uh, the one thing that you said is that it's a neo noir. To tell you the truth, I couldn't place quite. I couldn't quite place the decade, and that really worked for me. Um, it was it was just fun. Well, it was a fun film. It had a great ending. If you, if you look, if, and, if you look I, at some of the um, some of the props in it, we used props when we originally wrote it. We were going to do it as a 1940s film several years ago, yeah. and we started buying props and costumes and. We threw a bunch of those in, like the telephone, yeah, the telephone, nineteen thirties, the nineteen forties, yeah. And yeah. there's a number of items in there that you don't even really notice, but they're from the nineteen forties. So we just kind of threw them in there, but we just tried to keep it contemporary in tone. But I you know the cars were of different ages, right? And um, you know, we just didn't say, okay, this is nineteen forties. We just kind of threw it all together and just took it as an, a, a, that kind of an approach. Yeah, and that's really cool. It's not done very often. And it just, it leads you to use your own imagination to kind of close the gaps. And that's, that's fun about film watching and filmmaking. So really well done, sir. I really yeah, enjoyed a it. Of, a, lot of, a lot of people have commented on that. And um, it, it's nice because that was our intent was to not throw it in their face, but kind of just scatter it you yeah. know, throughout the film, just these little, little, you know, 1940s tidbits. And <laughs> Very it, it cool. Was fun. Thank you.